Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. What's going on, lovely people of the Shadow Fight Galaxy? This is Hulkden Gaming, ready to entertain you for the next 10 minutes if you stick around until the end. There is a brand new update in the Shadow Fight Arena. Probably one of the biggest updates we have ever seen. Neki has introduced a new weapon system in the game. In today's video, I'm gonna be focusing on the newly redesigned Hongju. First, we're gonna upgrade this big beefy boy to level 10. I am going after that increase in defense. The fat boy is gonna be very difficult to take down in the PvP. So this is the talent tree. Before we begin with it, let's see what new stuff have been added. Begin by equipping this universal taunt. It's available for every hero in the game. Now we're gonna check some of the weapons that have been added for the new Hongju hero. So we have the Sanji gun, the Dragon's Triumph is what I am going to be looking for. I think it gives you a 10% increase in Triumph damage. This is going to be awesome. Right now we're going to check out the talent tree to see what we're going to be using today. Level 2 we are going with the Blazing Bite. Level 4 there is a big new change. Dramatagy from level 10 is here. Level 6 we have the Encore. This is going to be great against those people who like to run away from the Triumph. The second one has a high chance of catching them. Level 8, I'm gonna go with Rehearsed Combo. This is gonna give Hongju a lot of Triumph points. You can combine it with the talent at level 10 and inflict a lot of damage. You guys are gonna see some of the combinations in this video. Level 10, I'm going with Special Effects. I believe it's the better talent of the two. Once you blind the opponent, you can follow up with another attack. Hongju is gonna be very difficult to take down in the PvP. This is the Hongju that we should have got the first time he came out. Let's go to the playground and see what we can do. Playing the bots as always, gotta do some practice. New hero, I need some practice. General Marcus is in the house. He is trying to stop me for trespassing. Little does he know that this is not the Marcus village. The new update has made it so that you can play the bots in many different arenas. This is a good addition. Alright guys, as you can see on the screen, the Triumph is fully charged. All the buttons are on the screen. This is the Hongju that I saw when the game first came out. I was one of the people who started complaining right from the beginning. I know some people called me idiot for saying that. Who is laughing now? Alright, let's see if we can finish off these markers. Dramatagy X3. This is gonna do a lot of damage in the next round. So we got Sheng trying to stop the incredible Hongju. Let's see what he's capable of. I hate fighting Sheng bots every time they're just entering the shadow form. Let me go to the corner. Ouch got caught with the scourge arrow let me try the usual combo one low sweep followed by the heavy attack i messed up a little bit give sheng the gust so he tried to run away but the on call helped me out the second triumph was able to catch him another reason why i say you should equip special effects is because when you use the uh the blazing bite you can follow up with another attack. That's gonna fully charge the Triumph and you can do a lot of damage. So I have five times the Dramatagy. A single Triumph combo should be enough to take down this Sheng. He managed to get away there. Man, I love this new Hongju. He's freaking awesome. When the Triumph is fully charged, you can trick the opponent with different moves. A lot of people are gonna be running away when the Triumph is fully charged. This is where you begin to play mind games with them. If you go to level 2, you can equip the ranged weapon, the one where you throw far away. If the opponent try to run away, you just throw it and you catch them. You can close the distance with the Herald Heavy Kick. I think the best thing to do after the heavy kick for the Herald is to follow up with the Legion spinning kick and then spray the opponent in the eyes. 
give him the gust. He managed to block it. The triumph is fully charged. From what I see, you can dodge the triumph by just dashing behind the Hongju. So you need to be careful when you use it. Another thing that I also saw was that if you're too close to the opponent, the encore talent is not gonna work effectively. The first triumph is gonna hit the opponent and then the second one is gonna miss. So you should look out for that. This new Hongju is just amazing. I can say he is now one of the best heroes in the game. Second match of the day, let's see if we can take down this fire guard. Fireguard has a crazy weapon. He can do a lot of damage with his painful burns. Like I said before, you close the distance with the Herald Heavy Kick. You counter attack with the spinning back kick of the Legion. Oopsie, I got caught there. Been a while since I played. Once you do the back kick of the Legion, you can now spray the opponent with the Blazing Bite. This Hongju is too much. Let me try and study this bot, dashing back and forth. Okay, he got me. Gust. I try not to finish the combo because of the explosion. Next match, who is it gonna be? Kate from the Legion faction. From the beta version of the game, Kate has a weapon that can make her do a lot of damage to characters that don't use any shadow energy. So in the game we have Helga, we have Hongju, we have Monkey King. Kate is gonna be too much for those characters. Nice dodge there. Spinning attack, we got caught. I think I'm gonna close the distance with a heavy kick. <laughs> Not today, not today. The uppercut for Hongju is very fast. One triumph and Kate is knocked out. What do you guys think of this Hongju? Comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I personally don't think this update is for pay to win people. All you need is a shadow pass and that's pretty much it. I know a lot of people are gonna be complaining about the pay to win players, but you shouldn't be worried. Let me give you a hypothetical analysis. Let's say 15% of people are pay to win players in the game. They will be divided among all the servers on the planet. So out of 30 characters, you might meet between one to three paid players. So that's kind of like getting 27 out of 30 in an exam. So it's not very bad. You shouldn't be worried about pay to win players. Just get a fight pass and you're good to go. You can get all the good rewards. All the weapons can be obtained from the chest. You can get them from the fight pass. Moving on to the next match. We are fighting another fire guard. This is gonna be the last round of the video and then it's gonna come to an end. Comment what you thought of the update. Are you guys enjoying the new Hongju? I personally think he's one of the best heroes in the game. We should have got him from the beginning. But finally Neki decided to fix the problem. Now Hongju is an awesome character. I want to thank you guys for watching the video. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Turn on that bell notification so you don't miss out. Leave some comments down below. Until then, I'm going to talk to you guys in the next video. Peace out.